The following lesson is linked to learning outcome four, language. It addresses the assessment standards that require learners to develop critical language awareness and explain how language positions them by implicit and explicit messages, values and attitudes. We live in a world where we are surrounded by adverts. It is impossible to watch TV, read a magazine, surf the internet or even drive down the road without being exposed to advertising messages. Hi, I'm McFarlane Muleli. Welcome to our first lesson in our series on the world of advertising. Because we see so many adverts, it is important for us to know how they work. Knowing how adverts work will mean that we are less likely to be negatively influenced by them. And we may even be able to use some of the techniques that adverts use to make messages more interesting and appealing in our own writing. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify different mediums of advertising, explain the intentions of advertising, explain what a target market is and how it relates to advertising. There are many ways in which advertisers can send their messages. In advertising, the form of technology used to broadcast, present or send an advert is known as a medium. Some mediums of advertising are television, the internet, newspapers and billboards. Watch the following clips of Tsepo going through his day and see if you can list the different mediums of advertising that he is exposed to. I find hospital just by SMSing the word and my desired location to 34600. I then get matching directory listings by SMS. So I find whatever I'm looking for, no matter where I am. It's your own personal hairstylist. Not chesty coughs, dry coughs, and throat irritation. It's rich, thick formula. Coats your throat just like it coats this bottle. It's all gold! No, is it? Vicks Triple Action. Strong medicine for colds. So, what mediums of advertising did you identify? In the sequence, a range of advertising mediums were shown, including radio, posters, billboards and signs, catalogues and magazines, cellular phones, television and newspapers. Now, if you were really paying attention, you may also recall what things were being advertised. Some adverts were trying to get you to buy products, some adverts are trying to get you to use services. Others were letting you know about upcoming events. And some were promoting political parties or social messages. Each of the adverts we've just seen had a different aim or intention. Adverts have a range of intentions including selling products or services and promoting upcoming events and social messages. Now as we've seen, Tsepo was exposed to a range of adverts through different mediums and with different intentions, but was every single advert that he saw aimed at him? As a young man, Tsepo might be interested in these products, and he may even be interested in these events. But Tsepo isn't in the market for these products. And as a student, Tsepo can't afford these services. So, although Tsepo saw a lot of the adverts, he was not always part of the target market. The target market for an advertisement is the group of people at which the advert is aimed. Now, the target market, intention and medium of an advert are all connected. Advertisers want to make sure that the advert is seen by the target audience so that it achieves its intention and to do this, they have to choose the best medium. Have a look at the following advert. Half price sale on designer gear this week only. Great brands, great price at Brand Warehouse. What medium has been used? 
what is the intention of the advert and who is the target market. This advert used a cell phone SMS as a medium for sending the message. The intentions of the advert were to promote a sale and encourage people to buy clothes at the sale. I'd say that the target audience for this advert would be teenagers and young adults. The reason for this would be that the product being advertised, brand name clothes, would appeal to this target market. Also young people love to use cell phones to send and receive messages. So the advert uses a medium of advertising that this target market is comfortable using. In this case, the intention, medium and target audience are all connected. Brand Warehouse wanted to promote their sale quickly and affordably, and sending SMSs enabled them to achieve their intention. The target audience would also respond well to the message and the medium used in this advert. To find out more about target audience, intention and medium, we spoke to Lusanda Jia, the marketing executive at Mindset Network. Lusanda, please tell us who the target audience of Learn is. The Learn Tunnel is targeted at learners and teachers in secondary school, specifically your grades 10, 11 and 12 learners and teachers. What mediums do you use to promote Learn? We use a number of mediums because we have such a wide target audience. For instance, learners and teachers can see the advertisements that we sometimes place in the Sunday Times newspaper. We also send posters and newsletters to our schools. But learners and teachers obviously also see us on the TVs and PCs that we place at their schools. In addition to that, we have a channel on DSTV where they can view the Learn uh, programs. So it's quite a variety of mediums that we use. How do you make Learn appealing to members of the target audience? Because we have a very young audience in the high school learners, we have to use imaging and graphics and the kind of images that young people will enjoy viewing. So the colors will be colors that appeal to them. But also we use very interesting material to make sure that the teachers themselves find our materials useful. What is the intention of advertising Learn? The reason why we advertise and promote the channel is because we want learners to know that there's exciting, very useful information for them that will help them with their studies. We also want teachers to know that on the channel and the platforms that we use for Learn is material that will assist them specifically with the new curriculum when they teach. So it's information and materials that are interesting, exciting and also very useful. Thanks, Lusanda, for giving us an example of how the intention, medium and target audience of an advert all work together to send a message. Let's revise what these terms mean. The target market for an advertisement is the group of people at which the advert is aimed. The intention in advertising refers to what the advertiser wants to achieve with the advert. In advertising, the medium is the form of technology used to broadcast or present an advert. Here is a task to help you understand target markets better. Find an advert in a newspaper, magazine or on TV that is not aimed at you as the target market. Define the target market in terms of age, gender and any other feature you think is important such as what their interests are or how much money they earn. Then. Write down how you would change the advert to appeal to your target market. That's it from me today. Join me next time as we explore the world of TV adverts in more detail.